In this video, you will learn how to create your very first topic for your project. Apart from learning how to create your very first topic, you will also learn how to rename chapters and topics, how to delete chapters and topics, and how to move chapters and topics within the table of contents, also known as the TOC. By now, if you have completed your assignment and have created your project file, you'll notice the project file being displayed on the opening window as you open Help and Manual. Help and Manual will always display a list of projects you've been recently working on on the opening window. Click your project. As the project is opened, notice the starter topics that Help and Manual has already created for you under the table of contents. There is a chapter titled Introduction with two topics underneath it and another chapter titled Chapter 2. I'm expanding the chapter 2 by clicking its expand or collapse button to display the topics below it. Notice that there is also a subchapter and clicking its expand or collapse button, the topics of the subchapter are displayed. To hide the topics under a chapter, click its expand or collapse button again. Let's flesh out the welcome topic. As you can see, I have currently selected the welcome topic. The blue band indicates that I have clicked on the welcome topic. Before I begin adding contents to the welcome topic, I would like to rename the topic because the title welcome topic doesn't sound very elegant. Instead, I'm going to rename the topic to just welcome. For this, I have to first make sure the topic is selected, which I have already done. Next, press the F2 key on your keyboard. Notice how the topic name field has been enabled for editing. All I need to do now is to delete the unwanted characters in the title name. Once I'm done, all I need to do is press enter on the keyboard and the changes are made permanent. At any time, if you wish to discard the editing, press escape on your keyboard and your editing will be instantly terminated and the changes you made will be discarded. Also notice how the name of the topic changed on the editor page when I changed the title of the topic in the TOC. Also, when I change the name of the topic, a small pencil icon has shown up beside the topic's name. This is to indicate that a change has been made to the help file. To save the changes, either click Ctrl S or click the floppy icon. In a similar fashion, you can also rename a chapter. Now to add some content into the welcome topic, select the topic in the TOC and click inside the editor on the right side where it reads enter topic text here. Delete the existing line and start typing away your content. To save time, I'm going to copy and paste content already prepared by me. At this stage, do not worry about the font or the font size. They'll be discussed in a subsequent topic. You may also pause the video and use the content you see in my welcome topic as a guide to create your own. Use the introductory topics to establish a good rapport with your user. This also helps in reassuring your user about the usefulness of your user guide or manual. And this certainly speaks volumes about your service or product. Notice how I have used placeholders for email and telephone numbers in my content. Now here's another important advice. Not all clients would want to divulge their company email or telephone number in a product help file. So do check with them about including them here. However, some clients do want support information to go into a separate topic such as contact us, support, etc. In any case, make it a point to check with your client before publishing these details. Next, let me show you how to delete a topic. Let's delete the second topic under the introduction chapter titled second topic. As we did earlier, first select the topic by clicking it. Now do a right click of your mouse and from the shortcut menu that appears, select delete TOC entry slash topic. A confirmation dialog opens and here, select delete entries. Notice that the topic has been deleted in the TOC. This way, you could also delete an entire chapter. Next, we'll look at moving or rearranging topics and chapters. In the TOC, you'll notice that the topic welcome is located below the chapter introduction. What if I wanted welcome to be a standalone topic and not under the introduction chapter? All I have to do is select the welcome topic and then click on one of the relocation buttons located here. There is another method to move topics and that is by clicking and dragging the topic or chapter to a new location on the TOC. For now, let us look at the relocation buttons. 
As I'm pointing to the relocation button, if you notice the tooltip, it reads move topic one level up and left. And that is precisely what it will do to the welcome topic as I click this button. Notice how the welcome topic has been pushed out of the introduction chapter as a standalone topic. And since there are no topics below introduction, it has become a standalone topic. We could also do away with the introduction topic by deleting it as we did earlier by first selecting the topic, then right clicking with the mouse to invoke the shortcut menu, and then selecting delete TOC entry slash topic from this menu. And then finally clicking delete entries from the confirmation dialog. Remember that once deleted, a topic or chapter cannot be retrieved by an undo or a control Z. You could of course create it. So let's go ahead and create the introduction topic. I would like the introduction topic to appear just above the welcome topic. So I first select the welcome topic. Then I right click and from the shortcut menu, I select add before selected topic. A dialog pops up and in the topic heading field, clear the suggested topic name and enter introduction and when done, click OK. The dialog closes and notice the introduction topic created in the TOC just above the welcome topic. Now to make the introduction topic a chapter again with the welcome topic below it, all I need to do is click the welcome topic and this time select the relocation button whose tooltip says move topic one level down and to the right. As I click the button, notice how the welcome topic is moved below the introduction topic, making introduction a chapter as before. We could also make the welcome topic a chapter by creating a topic under it. Let's go ahead and attempt the same. Once again, we select the welcome topic, then right click it to invoke the shortcut menu. Then from the menu, select add child topic. In the dialog that pops up, enter login as the name of the topic in the topic heading field. Click OK and the new topic is inserted below the welcome topic. Now making welcome a sub chapter below the introduction chapter. So go ahead and attempt the next assignment where you'll be asked to create the welcome topic. Create, delete, rename and rearrange topics and chapters. You could also play around with the second chapter titled chapter two. Feel free to break something. This will only help you to learn faster. Remember to save your work by clicking the floppy button or by pressing Ctrl S and I'll see you soon.